Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. Um, I know I haven't uploaded a vlog for a while. I think it's been the longest gap I've ever like not uploaded anything since I started my channel. Um, but yeah, life. <laughs> I have been sewing. I have been unwell. Um, not gonna dive in, but I'm seeing the end in sight and. Um, I have been quite uh, weak and not feeling, you know, like vlogging. So <laughs> when I want to film, I, I want to feel cheer cheerful. I want to feel happy and pass that on to you. So I don't want to be like, Ugh, you know, <laughs> so I am feeling better. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you um, two skirts. And I said I was going to um, do this in my plans. I said my mouth was going to be heavily... Um, loaded with skirts and it is being you know it is <laughs> so a while back i showed you how i uh, drafted my own skirt block uh using my measurements and it's the method i've used for years and years and they always fit me really well and uh, yeah i'm not going to change my method <laughs> so if you haven't seen that video and you want to see how i made these you can go back i'll link it down in the description box um where I showed you how to draft it and it's so 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 easy I don't ever need to buy a pattern for a skirt because with that block you can do whatever you want cool so um this uh not just about showing the skirts I want to show you everything like how I did them and how I lined them because I have made a few videos on lining I like lining I think it just ups the quality of your garment and the way it looks on you when it's lined um sometimes i don't line depending on the fabric but for a skirt yeah i, I think skirts look better when they're lined because then you can't see like um undergarment lines and things like that they just hang up a lot better so i'm gonna pop in here an inspiration picture uh that i found on pinterest now on pinterest i have a board full of skirts like <sighs> Skirts it's after skirt and if you can see I don't know if you can see they're all like pencil skirt variants um, I will wear a dress with a full skirt, but I won't wear a full skirt as a skirt <laughs> Just my rules just my thing. I think pencil skirts suit me better. They're more flattering on me and um, I like making variants of them so um I'm gonna quickly show you this red skirt. I'm not gonna show you much <laughs> <laughs> I'll show it better at the end, but it's linen, it's fully lined, it's got a peplum at the back, if you see that little peplum there. Anyway, go ahead now and look at all the clips I filmed of the process, and then I'll be right back. This is some red uh, linen that I have left over. Um, I made a little bodice for my niece um, on a dress I made, but I had lots left. So that's the front piece of the skirt, that's just basic, normal, just cut on the fold there, nothing special. Here is the back piece, and here I've left some space to put the zip up there. So I've left about two centimeters there for the zipper, in the center. In the center. There's my little dart. And here I've folded this back piece up about 18 centimeters. And um, so the back piece is shorter than the front piece because I'm going to complete the back piece with a big flounce, with a flounce, half circle flounce, but only on the back part of the skirt. Um, it looks more subdued that way for me. So here I'm going to attach a half circle flounce and I'll show you how I, did, I cut it out. This bottom part of the skirt for the back measures 27 centimeters, so times 2 is 54 and plus a little seam allowance there will be about 56 so I've got my calculator here on easycalculation.com I typed in half circle skirt circumference of waist, it's not a waist but it's the length of the skirt and the length that I want the flounce to be and it gives me a radius of 16.55 so that's what I've cut there so if I measured from this corner down there, 16 and a half, 16 and a half, all the way around. And then from here to there is 20. From here to here, 20, 20, 20, 20. And I've got this piece and this will be at the bottom of the skirt at the back. I'm going to show you how I created facings for this skirt. So I'm not going to have a waistband. I usually prefer um, 
waist, uh, facings. So this is my back skirt and this is my front. You can see there I've created a piece that's exactly like the top part of my skirt. I decided my facing is going to be 8 centimeters wide. Um, that's that's around the, the amount I want. So I have an identical front piece there, right there, and the back one is the same as well. I did it upside down, but <laughs> you can see I've copied the dart, everything exactly the same 8 centimeters. So I'm going to get rid of my skirt pieces and come back to the facings. Okay, so... I have my front facing here and I don't want my facings to have darts because that would just create bulk and I'm doing the facing with the same fabric as a skirt and I'm going to use fusible interfacing so I don't want a big bulky dart underneath my other dart so I'm going to eliminate it and I'm just gonna cut it there and then I'm gonna unite that there and tape it together So I've eliminated the dart. You can see it has like a sort of squarey shape now. Then I'm going to just true that um, when I cut it on the fabric, make it nice and smooth. That little curve won't upset me when I, when I attach this onto the skirt. It won't affect it at all. But it just means I have a facing now that has no dart. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the back. I'm just going to cut it there and then tape that there. So these facings don't have seam allowance. For the center back there, I'm going to leave about an inch just because I'm doing a zipper there. And on the sides, I leave about two centimeters. Um, but yeah, this is ready to go to cut my facings and use fusible uh, interfacing. I remember I won't leave that square. I will round that out. <laughs> now to cut my lining, for example, for the back, I've got that line there. So I'm going to go ahead and fold that backwards and this will be my lining uh, pattern and I'll leave one centimeter seam allowance. So when I have my, um, my facing and my lining, I will have an exact piece exactly like the main fabric. Now, what am I going to do with that little piece of that there at the bottom? I'm just going to do a little pleat in the lining and that's it. That's how I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to do the same with the front. So I'm going to have a facing that's going to be exactly like this with a little curve, but it won't really bother anything. It won't upset anything at all. So in my main uh, front um, pattern piece, I have taken out the dart and stitched it together. So that's how my skirt is actually going to be when I have the dart stitched in. And you can see my front facing piece is exactly like it. It's even got the same curve at the waist. And that's because once you sew in that dart, it's not going to be straight anymore. It's going to give you the curve that you need for your shape. So, yeah, that's how I get a facing piece that's exactly like my skirt without having the dart there. And that way I don't add all that bulk. I'm about to cut the lining for the back part of the skirt. So you see I folded at the top the piece that, you know, is going to be facing that's folded in underneath. And I've also folded my the bottom piece upwards because... I'm going to be adding on a peplum here. This is my linen peplum. So I'm actually going to cut out a lining fabric that's exactly this shape as well. So it gives it a really nice, um, the way it falls, um, the, the skirt. So there will be a lining exactly like this underneath. So that's why my back piece looks so tiny. And it's because up there, we're going to have facing that's going to be um, attached and then the peplum. I'm doing a half circle peplum just on the back piece of the skirt so I never make pattern pieces for those I just measure them on fabric you know I calculate the radius and all that I mark it on fabric so actually the same <laughs> fabric is going to be my pattern to cut out the lining so I've just placed it carefully on top on the fold there I pinned it and I'm going to cut out a, fa um, a lining piece that's exactly like the peplum because I'm using a pad, um, my fabric as a pattern piece, this already has the seam allowance added there on the top. So I'm going to just cut it exactly like it and I know that there's one centimeter seam allowance there already included. 
So here I have my front, this is my main fabric, my red linen, and here is my lining, my normal lining, and then my facing with the fusible interfacing that I cut exactly like the, the facing. And the facing is made out of that same fabric, out of the linen. And then I have my back, that looks a bit more, more pieces. <laughs> so here's my back, here's my peplum. My lining, my lining for the peplum, which is exactly the same, and then my uh, facing that is linen as well. So I'm ready to sew up this skirt, then you can see all the pieces. Here is my back uh, lining piece, so you can see my facing there. I've done a little top stitching there to keep this nice and flat. There's that little pleat, that's the end of that, like that dart that would have been there that I eliminated. There's my opening for the zipper, and I've already attached the peplum there at the bottom. It's got a middle seam there. So if I put my um, skirt piece, my main fabric, on this, it'll be exactly the same. Here is my front lining piece. So this is just simple. It's got nothing, no, no special design features on the front. And there is my facing that I've also top stitched down there to keep it nice and flat. Um, on the other side you can see I've um, put fusible interfacing, I've overlocked, so that's how it's going to look inside, but actually what you're going to see, what I'm going to see and what's going to be on my skin is this part here. I basically have two skirts, they're identical, one is the main fabric and one is the lining and I have right sides together, here you see my, my zipper and my back opening, so I've just pinned this all together all the way around. There I sort of burnt my interfacing. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do um, one straight stitch with one centimeter seam allowance all the way around and then flip it over and under stitch. So I've stitched on my facing and the lining attached there to the main part of the skirt. Um, I've already flipped it and here is my zipper opening. So here I'm just going to do uh, under stitching there. So when I turn this around or my facing and my lining is actually going to stay underneath and not peep out of my skirt. So basically that's that's all I have left. Do the understitching and then the way I'm going to attach this piece under there behind the zip is I'm going to hand stitch it on. And I've always done it like that. I'm sure there are other ways but that's just the way I do it. I have my skirt on the table and I'm just going to show you the back part because that's the interesting part. The front part of the skirt has nothing, it's just this one piece with the waist starts, that's all. But the back here is cut right there and then there's a 20 centimeter half circle peplum. It's got a center seam and then it's got a centered zip insertion there and the waist starts. So here is a, this is a nice part that's going to give a little bit of swish when I walk. So that's how the back part looks. The front is nothing special. It's just a front piece, nothing special there. Cool. So um, I said I was going to hand stitch on that part. This is the light of the facing inside. You can see the, the lining. Maybe you can see my hand sewing there. <laughs> you can't really. I mean, it's tiny hand sewing. It took me a long time. But that's the way I attach on. I know there's ways to do it by machine and you know, I, I can't be bothered. I prefer this method because it always works out really well and it turns out exactly like I want it to look. So there you can see the inside, that little top stitching I did so the lining fabric stays flat. And I even made the peplum uh, for the lining so that it would hang nicer. Um, you can see I did the hem of that peplum with bias binding, red bias binding, and then hand stitched on. And that is because this is a half circle at the back and it does a curve. If you attempt to do a hem just the normal way, like folding it up, and it's just not gonna look nice. It's just not gonna look very nice. So um, I always do it like that. And the front part of the skirt, which is just straight, I just did normal, like overlock, fold over, and hand, uh, hand hem. So, um, this is, this is like a basic skirt really, the only thing that makes it a little bit different is the peplum at the back. See, and the peplum is a half circle peplum just on the back part of the skirt. So, um, I hope the lining method was clear enough to understand. I do this all the time, this is the way I make skirts. 
Um, I don't do waistbands. The only time I do waistbands sometimes is when it's a stretch fabric and I'm not going to line it. Then I'll probably do a waistband, but for these I just think it's much more comfortable. Uh, yeah. So um, have a look at some pictures that we took outside with my son of me wearing this red skirt that's going to serve me so well because I've got stuff that much, you know. All the pictures there I have lots of tops and things that can match red because red is like a basic staple color for me and I was actually shocked I didn't have a red skirt I'm like why don't I have a red skirt that is just silly so uh, linen is my favorite fabric this is a linen blend mix because it's not that wrinkly like pure linen but it still looks like linen and it feels like linen so um, you can see there it hits me right above the knee and the little peplum at the back gives it a little bit of volume so I don't need to do like um, like a slit for walking. Sometimes pencil skirts don't let you walk if you don't do some sort of slit, you know. <laughs> I've paired it up with this satin cami top that I've made last year. Um, it's got like a racer back. Um, my style, totally what I like. <laughs> So I have another skirt that is um, very similar, but this is just the most boring pencil skirt. Like if you like look for a pencil skirt in a shop and it will have a back seam, it will have waist studs in the front and the back and a little slit at the back. Yeah, that's, that's how this skirt is. <laughs> boring, boring, just nothing special in the front. At the back it has a seam, it has my cent uh, centered zip insertion there. And at the bottom, it has a little pe a little uh, slit about 10 centimeters there. Um, so the reason I made this one as simple as can be is because this was a tiny remnant. I had about 50, 55 centimeters. That was all I had. So I didn't really have enough fabric to play around and do different things. And really, it's, it's a solid color. It's dark green. It's going to match stuff. So yeah, I don't need the skirt to have that much, you know, going on. <laughs> Anyway, this is a very thick uh, crepe. I don't know if you can see the texture there. It, it is a bit sheer, but it's thick. Like I hold this fabric, this skirt, and it's heavy. So I lined it. Only I didn't do a facing. It's just got the lining right up to the waist and under stitching there. Now the reason I do this with some skirts, I don't do the facing, is because the fabric is very, very thick. Like it's thick. So I don't really think the facing is gonna um, add stability to this area that much. It doesn't really need it. And the other reason was because I didn't have enough fabric to do the facing. <laughs> so yeah. Um, this is easy, easy, easy. You just cut your skirt twice, basically. You cut the same thing in your main fabric and your lining fabric. You attach it on at the waist, flip it around, and then understitch. You can see, uh, maybe you can see the understitching. And then I did the same as the red skirt. I attached the lining there at the back to attach it onto the part of the zipper. And then at the bottom here, I attached the lining onto that little piece of slit by hand as well so that's hand stitched on there so when I walk you're not going to see lining fabric peeping out from anywhere um, yeah so if you want to do a really easy method of lining and you have like a really thick canvas or like even I don't know just thick sturdy fabric you can skip the facing and do the easy bit so if you go to um, if you look back at how I lined my red skirt, if you look at the last step, when I had right sides together, <laughs> you know, with my skirt and my lining and I just stitched all around the waistband, that's exactly what you do with this. Uh, you just skip all the facing construction bit and it's valid. I still wear this skirt and it's still gonna serve me well. Um, because this skirt is like not very interesting, um, I, I got a bit creative with pictures me and my son went to a different location as well and got a, a bit of a hilarious picture there so have a look at them
yeah so like i am no model <laughs> i don't know how to pose if you really if you look back on all my pictures i'm always posing the same because i don't really know what i'm doing but yeah we went up to a building on the top of like a, a balcony area and really nice view to the trees and the park down there um, this is inside the university campus where i live in it's very beautiful in here it's, they, they take a lot of care of the gardens and they're always proud that this is like a little paradise amongst everything else that's outside the university <laughs> i haven't shown you that because yeah it's not nothing special to show Anyway, I hope this was useful. Um, I encourage you to line your skirts. One very important tip, and um, if you are gonna line a skirt that is made out of stretch fabric, like stretch cotton or sateen, stretch denim, whatever fabric you think is sturdy for a skirt, that's gonna give you a nice shape for a pencil skirt, but it has some stretch, do not line it with fabric that's not. <laughs> stretchy especially if you're relying on that stretch for fit so if you think oh it might be a bit tight but because the, the fabric is stretchy it's going to be fine if you cut out that same piece on a fabric that's not stretchy just normal lining fabric you're not going to be able to get on that skirt you know some skirts are designed to be made with stretch fabrics and they will tell you use some stretch whatever you know <laughs> So just be careful, there are fabrics uh, that do have stretch that can be used for lining. I have used in the past stretch satin, so just like this, but it does have stretch. I have used that sort of fabric to line skirts like those when I want to line them. So yeah, just be careful you're using the right sort of uh, fabric to line your fabrics. Anyway, that's all for now. I have more skirts coming, I, I promise. Um, yeah, lots of things coming and I, I hope to get back on the vlogging uh, train because I missed it. <laughs> Bye, have fun sewing.